Everything is very similar, but look at the experience of Gegard Mousasi. That's the difference in this fight. With the official introductions here once again is Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Miller Lite presents Bellator 200 on Paramount Network from London, England. The time has come for the main event of the evening. Five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Middleweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the Mohegan Tribe, Department of Athletic Regulation Chairman Kevin Brown. Chief of the Mohegan Tribe is Lynn Malerba. Supervising at cage side, Mr. Mike Mazzulli. Tonight's main event brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. And now, first, introducing the blue corner. At six foot two, weighing in 185 pounds even, the former Dream and Strike Force world champion enters tonight's world title fight with 43 professional victories, six defeats, and two draws. Hailing from Liederdorf, South Holland, Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Geiko Musasi. And across the cage, the champion tonight fights out of the red corner. At six foot three, weighing in 185 pounds, even tonight in his fourth defense of the title, he enters with a near perfect professional record of 15 wins, just one defeat. From Curitiba, Barana, Brazil, introducing the defending Bellator middleweight world champion, Rafael Nablest Cavallo. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Dan Mergliata. Thank you, sir. All right, gentlemen, been through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all time. I want you to protect yourselves at all time. It's a five round fight for the title. You want to touch gloves? Do it now. Good luck to both of you. Dan Mergliata, the referee here at SSC Arena Wembley. The main event of Bellator 200. Gegard Mousasi, 36 of his 43 wins inside the distance. Rafael Caballo, the fourth middleweight Red. champion, Let's making his fourth title defense. The champion Caballo in the red gloves, the challenger Musasi in the blue gloves. Musasi told us that Caballo's height and length was the only two things that really gave him pause. Well, in talking with him, the one thing he said is, look at, I know he's dangerous, I know he's long, I know he's powerful, but I know how to fight him. And that was the confidence that he brought into this. So we're gonna see, does he know how to fight this guy? London crowd chanting Musasi. Gegard Musasi has fought all over the world for almost, well, I believe he's fought for every major promotion that has existed in mixed martial arts. Think about it, Moro. Strike Force champion, dream middleweight and light heavyweight champion. Two he and has, one in pride. And now Musasi explodes from the takedown. And Caballo will try to get back up to his feet as quick as possible because you do not want to mess with Musasi on the ground. No, this is a big, important moment right now. Does Caballo get back to his feet? Good. Caballo gets back to his feet. That's very impressive, but he still has Gegard on his back, and he's going to bring him right back down. And Caballo, remember, in his professional debut, suffered a anaconda choke submission, but he's reeled off 15 consecutive victories since, and Caballo now looking for a standing Kimura, but he's taken down face first by Musasi. Beautiful outside trip and how he did that. That was beautiful, Moro. That was an impressive takedown by Gegard. Caballo is using actually a lot of energy holding that weight, but he's doing it in a very calm and efficient manner. And he's just working here, which is impressive because Gegard is good everywhere when it comes to the grappling range. First of a possible five five-minute rounds for the Bellator MMA middleweight championship. Go behind by Musasi with the waist lock. He'll try to drag Caballo back to the ground. Normally in those positions, we say high head wins, but Gegard came from a low head position, got his head on top, gets on top, 
Cavallo. This past the midpoint of the opening round. Cavallo controlling, was attempting to control Musasi's posture. Musasi into full mount. Dire straits for the Bellator MMA middleweight champion. And this is what we were talking about, the experience of Gegard. He's so calm when he fights, and he doesn't rush anything. He takes his time and moves himself now into the mount. You're going to see that he takes his time in this position. What does Cavajo do to start to get him out of the mount? That's going to say a lot. I would like to measure Musasi's heartbeat right now. It is incredible at how calm he truly is and, and just systematically breaking down Cavallo. Cavallo just wanting to stay as close to Musasi as he can. Neck crack attempt here and Musasi feeding Cavallo right hands. You saw the lace with the left hands. Oh, the crowd and pound from the back by Gengar Musasi. Biggest thing is he's not being able to move. Gengar no, Musasi, no, 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 no. it's the new Bellator MMA middleweight champion. Musasi's career from dream to strike force to Bellator MMA. Musasi can once again call himself champion. It's so hard to explain the pressure that a guy can create, but you look at what Gegard does right here in that mount position, but he's calm. He doesn't rush into anything. I've got good position. Let me start to frame. You see the arm coming across, and it's what he does in turning him. When he gets Carvalho to start to move, you'll watch him lace the arm, and that lace is what puts him in position to be able to control his body and start raining down those shots. Watch the left hand of Musasi. It's not showing it, but once he gets this, his left hand laces the arm. And when it laces the arm on the other side, you see that wrist control. That's what starts this entire downfall for Rafael Cavallo. Big shots with the right hand. That left hand is laced. He can't move with it. And he's stuck in a position that the referee now sees that he cannot progress. He can't stop it. That's what Gegard does to win the fight. A disconsolate Rafael Cavallo. His title reign is over. His 15-fight winning streak is over. But hats off to a, a champion. And now the sportsmanship and Cavallo congratulating Musasi on his victory. There is a new Bellator MMA middleweight champion, and his name is, well, let Michael C. Williams take it from here. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end officially. Three minutes, 35 seconds into round number one. The winner by TKO, and now the new Bellator middleweight world champion, Gagard Musasi. He improves to 44, six and two with his 25th victory of Via Forma knockout. The new champ is standing by with Big John. I am here with the new Bellator middleweight champion, Gegard Musasi. How does that feel, brother? It feels good. I worked hard for this. Um, I want to thank my coaches, my trainers, my friends, all my friends that came, all the audience that came. Thank you. Making time, spending the money to come to, uh, to watch the fights. Thank you very much. You did such a beautiful job of relaxing inside the cage. When you got him down with the outside trip and you had his back, did you know that you were in position that you were going to be able to keep him there so for you to win the fight? Well, it was a five round. I was thinking it could go five rounds, but I, I fight with the rest of heavy guys. So my strength is up to there. Once I, I'm on top position, I'm, uh, I'm good, I think. <laughs> You're good. You are the first fighter that's ever had the Strike Force light heavyweight title, Dream middle and light heavy, and now the Bellator middleweight title. Who is it that you think it should get that next shot at this title? I think everyone wants to see Rory McDonald. Hopefully he doesn't chicken out and uh, we have a fight. Sounds good to me, everyone. The new middleweight champion, Gegard, Dreamcatcher Musasi. Champion calling out a champion.